Okay for you field athletes out there, whether you play baseball, football, soccer, basketball, field and track. We have a core strength and stability test and exercise, which is going to get you strong from the inside out. And with me, I have the elite wooden bat leaguer right here, John, who's 16 years old. He's an all-star baseball player. He's been practicing the core strength and stability test. He tells me he could pass it. Let's see if he can. Let's see if you could pass it too. So join right along with us. What you need is a mat and a stopwatch. I'll keep the watch for you. John, you ready? We're starting off in what is called the plank position. So get down into that plank position and go. We're starting right at the top of the minute. Now notice John, his elbows are directly under the shoulders. He's a straight line from his shoulders down through the ankle. Straighten the knees a little bit more. Feel that energy under the navel. Remember, this is power centering. This is focusing at your core center, which is an inch or two below your navel, an inch or two inside the body. So John's holding that position. He's got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now he's going to raise his right arm right out to the side. Again, this is really testing the core. Notice he's shaking a little bit. It's okay to shake. You don't want to be too wishy-wobby or, or, wob or, or too wobbly. Now, there's no failing this test. If you get tired, stop and rest for a second. Shake out your arms and then move into a different position. Switch arms now for me. 15 seconds at each of these positions. Notice how his arm is straight out to the side. He's focusing a little bit forward of himself, about six inches in front of his hands. And now bring the hand down. Now raise the right leg straight up. Now notice we're lifting one limb at a time. Pretty soon we're going to be lifting two limbs. 15 seconds at a time. John, you're doing great. A little bit of, little bit of shaking, but no wobbling. Switch legs now. Awesome. You're more than halfway through the test. This test is not just about strength. It's about the stability of your core, which is a lot of the function of your nervous system, training your nerves to hold you. Okay, bring both legs down. Now raise the right leg and the left arm. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. Bring your arms straight out to the side. Now this is where it gets tough. Most people will fail at this position. John is making it through with flying colors. A few more seconds. And now switch arm and leg. So he's going to raise the opposite arm and the opposite leg. Takes a tremendous amount of stability and strength to pull off this maneuver. Excellent. John's getting a little shaking. Shaking's okay, but he's not looking at wobbly at all. He hasn't been kidding around. He has been practicing. Okay, now elbows and feet back on the floor and hold this for another 15 seconds. Suck that navel in a little bit more. It's better that the hips are a little bit higher than to collapse down too much. Okay, keep holding it, John. Now that was two minutes and 15 seconds. I'm going to give him another 15 seconds because he's strong. Come on. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, seven, how far did you go? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, John, you can get down to the knees, shake out your hands, excellent job. Give him a little clap, give yourself a clap home. Now, on the Power Centering website, look into the Resource Center and you'll see all of this written down for you, the different gradations, there's 14 different positions, but really, all you have to remember is where you collapsed or where your, your test failed Keep working at this. Do this every day. I guarantee within two weeks you'll be passing with flying colors. Keep shaking, shaking it out until our next segment. Great job, man. Awesome.